Hi, I'm Rich Lanning. I'm from the Gyrocopter Flight Training Academy. We're located at Sebastian, Florida, X-Ray 26, and we are the U.S. representative for this beautiful gyro, the Nisus. The Nisus is produced in Slovakia. So the Nisus was developed in Slovakia as a follow-on to their business in trikes. Uh, the company's name is Joker Trike. Uh, so they have expanded now from trikes into gyros, and I think they've done a remarkable job this particular gyro is like the Cadillac of gyros. It has all the standard features of every other gyro, but some of the unique features of this particular one is all the controls are integrated into a center console. So you have your, your throttle, your brake, and your pre-rotator all in one hand, which I think is a, a really nice innovation. Um, of course, it has a pneumatic trim system and rotor brake system. Um, it has a lot of amenities built into it, like the seats adjust in two different positions and the rudder pedals adjust. So this particular aircraft can fit any type of body, shape, or size. The canopy on this opens up and forward. So anyone, even people with certain physical deformities, uh, can get in and out of this with great ease. Uh, this is probably the easiest gyro of all the gyros I fly to get in and out of. Uh, they've done a remarkable job with the cooling system on this. Uh, most gyros you see are kind of opened up by the engine. This one is fully enclosed, but they have the proper baffling in there. Uh, we did have a slight problem with overheating when they first delivered it in Florida. Within two days, they flew out with a completely re-engineered radiator, and that dropped the temperature 10 degrees. They have continued to work on that radiator. They have a new version that will drop the temperature even more. Uh, they take great pride in their aircraft. They take great pride in supporting their customers, as we have seen. Um, we, we truly like working with them. Uh, the language is a little bit of a barrier. Uh, I don't speak Slovakian yet, so we've never had any real communication issues. Yeah, it has a 28-foot uh, rotor uh, diameter, 650-pound uh, useful load. Uh, we hope to incorporate the uh, Rotex 916. Uh, we don't have any with the 916 yet, but uh, we hope to have one soon. Hopefully a customer will come very soon and buy one and ask for that so we can see the performance of it. But our estimates are that it'll cruise at about 95. Um, uh, right now it has a VNE of 105. So this particular one is, again, as part of their prototypes, they were trying out a lot of different engine configurations. And this particular aircraft has the edge performance. And it works okay for demos and for training. Uh, but for a production gyro, uh, we need a little more horsepower. Uh, so that's why we're recommending to all the customers the 915, Rotex 915, or the brand new Rotex 916. Uh, we had this at Sun and Fun. It was delivered to the U.S. Actually, it was flown over in an aircraft. So normally we have these shipped by uh, cargo ship. Uh, but this actually fit into an aircraft, was shipped by air. Uh, we got it to Sun and Fun, but we did not have time to get it registered. So it did not fly at Sun and Fun. So it's made its first air show debut here at Oshkosh. Now we have flown off the 40 hours. It is experimental. So that was all taken care of before it arrived here. Handling of this particular gyro, uh, I like to compare it to a sports car. It's very nimble, uh, very responsive on the rudder pedals. Uh, if you are a tailwheel pilot, uh, you could probably relate to this gyro very easily. Uh, the, the term we like to use for tailwheel pilots is happy feet. You're really tapping on the, the rudder pedals. Uh, but it makes it very, very responsive. This thing can turn on a dime, um, can bank, twist, and turn any way you want, uh, which most gyros do, but I think this one has a slight edge in that arena. Uh, it's just a joy to fly. The vibration, all gyros have a vibration because the rotor teeters. That's how it equalizes lift across the rotor. And uh, they've done a great job in dampening that stick shake that you get. You can't, you can't take it down to zero, but there's it's very little stick shake in this. So it's a comfort to fly. The seats in this thing are just fantastic. Being a flight instructor, and we teach in several different makes and models of aircraft, I could teach in this all day. The others, after a couple hours, I need to take a break. We have gotten tremendous response. I mean, people really love the looks the design, the quality of the construction. Uh, we have seen comments where people were concerned because they haven't seen it fly. And again, it took us time to get it registered, but now we could put that all aside. It has flown here at Oshkosh. 
Uh, we hope to have some videos posted to prove it. And we are fly we have been flying it at Sebastian. Uh, we probably need to do a little better job in the social media world in getting those pictures and things out there. Well, they can contact uh, Nisus, N-I-S-U-S, directly. Uh, they, they could just Google Nisus gyroplane and their site will pop up, or they can contact us at the Gyrocopter Flight Training Academy in Sebastian, Florida, and we do have a website as well with all our contact info.